with the lead, leader of Pandev, our leader and father, Chief Senator Edwin C. Clark, over time. So we are happy that they are here to come and condole with the family at this very sad moment. So we thank them for coming. Like I said earlier inside, we were sure they would come and they have come. And we wish them well. Yeah, yeah, Pandit has called for his uh, demoralization by the federal government. How was it say on that? Chief Dr. Emmanuel Iwayan was a global citizen. In everything he did, he was tops. Publishing, sports, transport, industries. He was ahead. He was very he, he was very much ahead of his time. He did so many things and they were very successful. So like uh, His Excellency Ambassador Igari said, they know how to mortalize a man of that nature. So we believe, we don't want to now say that they should do this and that. They know that Chief Emmanuel Iwayo needs to be mortalized. And I'm sure that they will do so. So take us to the burial program again. The burial program will start in Lagos, Day of Tributes on the 16th, Wednesday 16th of October. And we will move to Abuja on Friday the 18th of October for the Day of Tributes in Abuja. Day of Tributes and Ceremonies will hold in Enugu on Saturday the 26th of October. And in the country home on the 29th of October will be service of songs and 1st of November will be interment. That's the program. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. and the South-South region. So for us, receiving them is a duty which we know we have to perform. And our departed leader. Sorry. Well, we are here on behalf of the leadership of the Pan Niger Delta Forum, uh, which you know represents is the apex body of the people of the South South, of the Niger Delta of this country, led by Chief Senator E.K. Clark and National Chairman is uh, Senator Emmanuel Ibok Isien. Two, and our Board of Trustees is chaired by Senator, uh, by, by Governor Obongata and Chief King Alfred Dieter Spiff. On their behalf, we've come to pay our condolences to the Iwayan family in particular, to pay our condolences to the wife and to the children, and to pay our condolences to the people of uh, members and all the people of Hanes and Igbo and the Igbo nation in general over the loss of a spectacular and great Nigerian chief engineer, Emmanuel Iwanyang. He was, we've told them that this loss is also shared by we, the people of the Niger Delta, with the people of the south-south of this country, because he was a leader of not just Igbo people, but leader of also our own zone of the country. He saw us as one, and we did things as one with the southeast because of him. Particularly, he shared a special relationship with our father, our leader, Chief Ike Clark, and uh, we have brought the very deep condolences of Chief Clark to them. We want to say today that uh, Chief Iwayao, as we've said already inside, was first and foremost, he considered himself a Nigerian who believed that this country should be stronger, this country should be greater on truth, on justice, and fairness to all other, on the principles of hard work and proper reward for hard work, 
And that is why he did not care where he did his business, whether it was in Lagos or in Port Harcourt, our own part of the country, or in Abuja. He saw himself as a Nigerian. And it is for this reason that we from the South South will participate fully in the burial. Already we are in all the committees of the burial. We have our members in every committee. And we are mobilizing our kings, our chiefs, our youth, our women to participate in the funeral activities in Lagos, in, uh, in uh, Abuja, and also down in Imo State. Finally, we urge all Nigerians to join to celebrate this great man. And we hope that at the right time, the federal government will properly immortalize him because he deserves it. Sir, how best do you want him to be immortalized? He, he talked about restructuring. That was all achieved. Not for the release of Namikami. That was the federal achieved. government knows what to do. They know the values he stood for and what is important and what is critical is that Chief Oyao is not just an Igbo leader, he's a national patriot and must be immortalized in this country. And we know that the federal government will do that at the right time. Thank you very much. With the family of late Chief Emmanuel Iwayangu, Ahaiji Agamba in Igbo, a man who passed on on the 25th of July, 2024, at the age of 83. We believe that this man has impacted very strongly on the Nigerian nation in all spheres of life as a pan-Nigerian, in a detribalized Nigerian, a Nigerian who was as much at home in Igbo land, as in Hausa Fulani land, as in Yoruba land, as in Edo land, a man whose octopida business interests stretched across all nooks and crannies of Nigeria, a man who headed the Pan Igbo Nation Organization, Ohanese Ndibo, for over a year before he died. We believe that such a great Nigerian should be honored in death, not only when he was alive. So I have come to um, commiserate with the widow, with the children, with the family that he has left behind, and to say that they should take heart and have the fortitude to bear this irreparable loss and to also commiserate with Nigeria and the Indigo Nation for a loss that will not be replaced. God bless Emmanuel Wanyamu and may his kind soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. We get to separate our respective homes. May the soul of our leader, Chief William, and the souls of all those departed through the mercy of God rest. The commissariate with the family of our leader. Hanes in the Ibo worldwide, Ibo nation, and indeed Nigeria. I speak on behalf of the neck of Hanes. I will also speak on behalf of the family of our departed leader.
sounds like mystery, but this is reality. So we thank you, and we thank you, and we thank you for the kind words, for the memories, and then the prayers. The PG never missed, never missed any meeting of the Southern and Middle World Forum leaders. Never. It was a stickler for time. <coughs> so, okay, what time? Is it 12? Well, let's go. You'll be there. You will contribute. You will confer with Daddy to fire the banjo. Dr. Beatrice. They will call early hours and they will take decision collectively, all of them. Nigeria was their compass. But he did one thing. We needed clutches. We needed clutches. We knew we couldn't do it alone. As far as it as the nation, because he understood the complexities, the dynamics of this country called Nigeria. So we needed that larger canvas. That the ninety seven to fire the banjo ninety six. Ninety six. Yes. Yep. So we do Abuja and when we are in Lagos, you must insist we go. So you could see both of them conferring. But today it's no more. Who can question God? God knows why. God knows best. Our prayer, our plea is to support us. Pray for us. Pray for the family. As we arrange say bye-bye to him in less than two months. Julie Bo, who is chairman of the Central Bureau Committee, has given the dates. We'll continue to work together. Excellency, thank you so much. And on behalf of Ohanese, on behalf of the family, on behalf of the Igbo nation, we say again, thanks for coming. God bless you all immensely. Yeah. 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 Powerful delegation. Daddy, Chief E.K. Clark, for October. the widow of our great leader and hero, Chief Mrs. Iwayo, the second son, Mr. Chinedu Iwayo. We have a very powerful delegation from Pandas. But first and foremost, is for me to on our behalf, jointly and collectively, pass our great respect and admiration to the great leader, our father, Chief Senator E.K. Clark, 
for making this visit possible. What will have been the news is that Pandev did not come. That will have been the news. Because of the working relationship which Pandev and Ohanese jointly enjoy. Like we all know, he has even championed the cause of Ohanese and Ndibo, more than Ndibo themselves. So we admire him. We pay respect to him. And at 97, God is still using him to do a lot of things for this country. I told him the last time I saw him that God has kept him for a purpose. So we want to thank you immensely for making time to come here to commiserate with the family of Chief Dr. Engineer Emmanuel Iwayamu and the Ohaneze Nibu worldwide. We have a burial program when the Middle Belt Elders Forum came, we presented a tentative program. Today, the burial program will start with the day of tribute in Lagos on the 16th, Wednesday 16th. Wednesday 16th of October. Friday 18th of October will be day of tributes here in Abuja. Day of tributes and ceremonies in Enugu will hold on Saturday the 26th of October. 29th of October will be service of songs in the country home. An interment will take place on the 1st of November. A formal announcement will follow shortly, but it's just for your information, having visited this afternoon. And we are pretty <coughs> sure that the participation of Pandev is assured. And we look forward to your participation in a big way, because we know it will happen. Therefore, on behalf of the leader, Chief SNO Keke, I want to thank you for this visit and to wish you well as you go. Thank you very much and God bless. Chief Hanese. Chief Dr. SNO Keke. Okeke Budo Ibo. Okeke London. Na, I want to in the Niger Delta, na in the Southeast. Oh, we have a Jiko line. What's it going on? Um, one of my raw material research and uh, development center. Okay, if I created that body. Um, Chief Iwayo was the first chairman of the board. I know you are born here. Lucy Olunina, Lucy Eke. Building in on a on a for not at the Hilton, the brick building. Oh, you are born here. Lawyer, Ogogo, chairman. Oga, and I'm Minister of Science and Technology because of project time. So I said, for that reason, over now, when I in the pandemic, I can add them, make us too much. For that reason, I'm a mere, as a professional and very, very good professional. You know, not as very articulate. I'm a all in, I'm an engineer. All of us all for Nigeria. I face it, come back. 
Nigeria by deeds. So when his champion newspaper was operating from Lagos, he didn't care that it was not from Imo State where he hid from. When Oriental Airlines was going across Nigeria, he didn't mon monopolize it and make it situate alone in Igbo land. All I want to tell the family, the young family that has slept behind is that the way God has made this world, he has made it like a market. Some people come trade and go very early. Some finish sending their words in the afternoon and go. Some stay there till late in the night. And the vultures will even come and start asking, what are you still doing here? But like Abraham Lincoln once told us, that great man who on the 19th of November, 1863, in his Gettysburg Declaration, decreed democracy as government of the people, by the people and for the people. Like he told us, it is not how long you live. It is the magnesium, the power, the impact you bring into your life and the lives of others. Your impact on the people. At 83, when he died, July 25, 2024, he was an octogenarian. He wasn't a nonagenarian. He wasn't too old, but he was also not too young. But his deeds are such that you can describe his case as winning, witty, witty. He came, he saw, and he conquered. What he did was to look at death eyeball to eyeball and say, go death, I'm going to join my father. That was why when Caponia, the wife of Julius Caesar, mm -hmm. was telling him not to go out on the ice of March because of the dreams she had had, Caesar said, Here we go. For the things that threaten Caesar never look but on his back. When they shall see the face of Caesar, they will vanish. Say, danger knows full well that Caesar is more dangerous than he. We are two lions, later than one day, and I the elder, and more dangerous. And so Caesar shall fought. And he fought. He went. He looked at death eyeball to eyeball. That was what Chief Emmanuel Iwanyangu did. As President General of Ohani Zindigo, in a little over one year that he took over, he changed the narrative. He showed strength. And he finished the race very well. To me, Though death is painful, my Iwanyamu should not be mourned at all. I think it is better that we celebrate him. We should celebrate him. Young man, the son, you must be very proud of your illustrious pedigree. And madam, 
the widow say take heart because tomorrow will be brighter than today but one thing is clear to me is that paradise the heavens are meant for good people i'm clear about that as a christian as a catholic that your good deeds will take you straight to meet our father in heaven and i believe chief emmanuel is already with our lord resting peacefully in the warm bosom of god May God bless the Johannes Indigo. May God bless Pandev. May God bless our non Nigerian leader, Chief K. Clark, who at 97 is still booming with his voice concerned about national issues. And that was why he called me by himself two days ago that I should be in this delegation. One would have wondered what does he want? in life again at 97. He has had it all. But he knows that the Nigeria he wants has not yet come in his presence. So I see that man fighting till the last minute. He will breathe his last breath. At 97, I think he still has about 23 years more to go going by Genesis chapter 6 verse 3. Man has been destined to live for 120 years. We bless the family. We bless these delegations who have spared time on a Sunday to come and pay homage to this great Nigerian, this great entrepreneur, this great Pan-African, this great Indigo leader, this man with a heart of gold. Thank you all, and God bless you. Thank you. Was an avatar. In entrepreneurship, it was a primus inter pares, first amongst equals. But perhaps the most important aspect of this great son of Nigeria this are Haiji Agamba and Debo. Is the fact that he successfully built bridges of understanding across Nigeria. He stretched his arms across the Niger, across the Benue, to all facets of Nigeria and across all strata of the economy, of the politics, of the socials, and of the culture of Nigeria. Emmanuel Mwayangu was simply an octopus. You couldn't really decipher him. Like Amoeba, he was shapeless because you couldn't place him whether in the business world, his was a case of no loose second. And trying to receive us. We have come on a delegation sent by our fathers. As a matter of fact, if we stay a bit long, one or two of them will join us because for some reasons, we could not, flight could not take off from Podako Chief. King Alfred, the other speak, is supposed to be here with us. He's on his way. Uh, Obron Victor Atta is supposed to join us. He called me. In fact, he said we were together in a wedding. And, uh, so I should particularly apologize that due to connections, we could not make it at 3 o'clock. And uh, also, National Chairman, Senator Engineer Emmanuel Bokisian. And finally, as uh, Ochendo has said, from our father, uh, Senator Chief, Edwin 
clerk is in town, but uh, you will appreciate with us that it's not always very convenient to carry my belt at the age of uh, 97 going to 98. So sometimes, even when he wants to make the trip, we urge him to remain behind that he can send us for us to go and come back and give him the report. But um, they've all sent us to come. <coughs> and others who, I think some are outside to come and commensurate and pay our condolences to the family of our leader, Chief Emmanuel Lewayao. And also to Hanez and Igbo and the entire Igbo people. We are from Pan Niger Delta Forum. We represent the entire people of the Niger Delta, the south south of this country. It's a mother body. And we have come to salute a great patriot, a man who believed in Nigeria, a man who believed in the oneness of this country, a country that reigns with equity, fairness, and justice, a man who believed that it is through hard work that you build a country and showed it by example. But above that, a man who build, believed in building bridges. His tentacles and his bridges reached out to us in the south-south and we became one, to the south-west and to the north. As it pleased God, he had called him home. Our father, Chief Clark, is particularly shaken by what has happened. And uh, it is not funny to see a man of that age weep like a child. And his, his sadness was the fact that why will his own younger brothers, starting from uh, uh, Professor Obiozo, and now Chief Wanya will go before him, but uh, like we always tell him, it is God that decides who goes when. So we bring greetings from all of them and from the entire people of the Niger Delta. Two of my other colleagues will speak, but before then, let me say that uh, uh, this is just a tip of the iceberg. We felt that we should not delay for too long <coughs> to come and pay this condolence visit. We had initially planned that the proper condolence would be at the funeral. But later, our leadership decided, no, we must come as a group and pay our condolences. <coughs> we are fully involved in the burial program. I'm part of the National Burial Committee. Our National Secretary of the National Executive Committee, Dr. Uh, Associate Professor Mulade, is uh, also on the burial committee. Um, Dr. Minimini is on the burial committee. Our National Publicity Secretary, Dr. Um, Robinson, in Port Harcourt, is also in the National Burial Committee. So we're involved. But beyond that, we are preparing to fully mobilize the people of the South South to come and attend this burial. You will see us in colors. You will see us in numbers, our women, our youth, our elders, our kings, and our chiefs. because. He's a man that deserves that level of celebration of his life. So once more, we bring our condolences. Uh, I will not dominate all the discussion because I've said a few other people will say something. Let me allow two of my colleagues to pay tributes also and uh, again express the fact that we are with you at this time and we're involved. I will follow to the very end. And also to assure the family that the same way we were with him, so are we going to be with the family. <coughs> In fact, um, uh, Chief Clark, our father, has asked that I inform the wife that at an appropriate time he will see you. That he will see you at an appropriate time and we should take his personal greetings to you. But we tell the Igbo nation, you are not mourning alone. The people of the South South, the old Niger Delta, are mourning Chifuayan with you. And I believe all of Nigeria is mourning Chifuayan with you.
may his soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. For a complete speech, to anything here. Death will be highly involved. But to start with, my leader, Ambassador God knows Igali, who is the leader of the delegation, has asked me to make presentation of these dreams to the family and to the leadership here present. When people come, also give them drinks as you have given to us. And without delay, I hereby present them. In presentation, there is also cola. You know cola not is more expensive than even a jeep. When jeep breaks down, you wedge it with a piece of wood or mentor. But cola not is golden. I hereby present them with the cola not. In the great name of God the Father, Amen. the name of God the Son, Amen. the name of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. To, you know, sympathize with the family. It and as they come, you will entertain them with drinks. So, Pandev, Ohanes Indigo, Middle Bed Forum, in fact, they've been together. And up to the last political section, we were also together. Mm -hmm. And uh, as far as the barrier, uh, even though part of the present uh, South Side was uh, part of the you know, Western region, but majority of our leaders, they were NCNC. Mm -hmm. And uh, in fact, our late leader, Unande Azikiwe, did not disappoint us at all. Mm -hmm. Everything we needed from NCNC to give to us, we had all of them up to the time of Midwest. That shows that Niger Delta, South Side, and Igbos, they've been in marriage for a long time. And uh, we also know, yes, you have an idea? With our brothers of Ohanes, we have found it. But we also thank God for the life he lived. Yes, he will be forever. So, to wipe tears out, I bring this color and uh, to go around everyone in their peace. Thank you. That the Lord will bless this meeting and bless this soul and the family of the departed. It's so versatile. Anywhere it goes, it speaks the language of the place. But we are cool. Who 
who cooperate. If I, I start speaking here now, I'll speak Urugu, Ishekiri, Ido, Kalabari, what and what. This call I break it to the glory of God. As I said, we are here because somebody whom we need so much in industry, in commerce, in politics, in national integration, he was a stalwart. And everybody knows him. Another order has come. The senior person in my place, not an ex chairman of police, this thing, so he's supposed to sit down. So I want to befriend him. family had brought for us to present before you, and um, as uh, many of you may have known, Kula not when he's going on ceremonial journey, does not understand Igbo, I mean uh, English, only, only Igbo. So, um, we have to um, do it the way it is really done. Hi. Well. And uh, I must say, we are very pleased to have you here. When I had a call from uh, His Excellency, uh, God knows, Gary, and the great leader of uh, Southern and Middle Forum, Chief E.K. Clark, to tell me that uh, it is their desire to be here possibly today or tomorrow, and uh, I must say I was very delighted because I know our leader of the forum, Chief Ike Klein, had always uh, had a wonderful uh, meeting and discussions, open and private, with Ahedje uh, Nyamba. Anytime we had a meeting of the forum. And uh, when the chief from me when he spoke to me a couple of days ago, he expressed great concern of the departure of our great leader. And uh, prayed, as he was talking, that our, great, our Lord will receive his soul in the bosom of heaven. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Dr. Seno Keke. And uh, any other person there? And myself, Professor Charles Mwekako. Uh, yes. Um, the young man is a member of this aso association. And uh, Dr. Stella Odife.